Could CloudSpot be taking over HoneyBook as the new CRM platform for photographers? I'm gonna talk about that today. Hey photographers, it's Michelle, and I wanna to talk to you a little bit more about all the big changes rolling out for CloudSpot. You may or may not have heard of CloudSpot already as an online gallery service provider, such as Pixie Set, Shoot Proof, it's in that kind of category, and it's what I currently use to send my photos to my clients, and I absolutely love them. But recently they've come out with some big changes to become a CRM platform, meaning sending invoices, contracts, emails, all in one place. So not only can you send your clients their beautiful galleries, but you also can maintain all the business side of photography in one house, which I think is pretty amazing. So if you've been following my videos for any length of time, you're probably familiar that I use HoneyBook currently for all my invoices, contracts, etc. how I run the back end of my photography business. And I do love HoneyBook, I still love HoneyBook. However, the two objectives I commonly hear from photographers is one, it seems like really robust program to learn, it seems a little overwhelming to use all the features, and two, it is expensive. So if you resonate with either of those feelings, then CloudSpot may be the solution for you. And honestly, I wish CloudSpot was here when I first started photography, um, because I think it's going to be a game changer, especially for those beginning in photography. So I'm going to jump on my computer and show you a little bit more in depth of what CloudSpot looks like on both the online gallery side and the CRM side, so you can see a little bit more deep dive into the program. And then I'm going to share some ending thoughts on whether HoneyBook or CloudSpot might be the right choice for you. First, let's talk about the online gallery service that CloudSpot offers. So this is actually sending your photos to your photography clients. So you're going to create a collection, go ahead and name it. You can add tags to it if you have a, end up having like a lot of different collections and you need some organization, you can do that here. And then you're just going to upload your photos like you would any other. You can also expand this view details option and it's kind of nice because it just sees if you have any images that are failing to upload or having like a sticky spot, you can kind of go back and see that, but it just gives you kind of a progress status bar here. Once your images are uploaded, you can organize them any way you want, just like any other gallery service. And then you're going to get your cover image. You can just drag and drop over there, which I really love. And then when you get ready to send your gallery, this is where you can kind of choose all your different settings. So we're going to go to publish and gallery. And then this is where you can change all your settings. So a couple things that are unique to CloudSpot that I really love is this call to action button here. So this displays at the end of the gallery and I, you can do it to your website, you could do it to uh, maybe your social media handles, but I actually like to send it to my Google form review for a testimonial. And this has been a game changer for me to getting testimonials. So after the highlight of looking at all their images, they're most excited about working with you, then I have that little action button here and um, you can describe what you want your clients to do here maybe write a review and then change the button text as well and then you would put the link to wherever you want them to go so I love that part about CloudSpot um, you can embed other media if you want a video if you did a little video in their session as well and then we'll go to the design feature again I think this is also unique to CloudSpot I could be wrong but I actually love it so most of the time I do portrait work and so I always hated when like these um, online services would cut them off weird or even I'd have to really zoom in close to your face but you can actually do different setups for um, your cover so I usually choose portrait so it's nice because you can see the full image here nice and clear but there's different types that you can choose and you just scroll through and choose which one works best for you and then of course the different tiles and stuff and how you want the images to display I usually just leave them as is and then you can change the color theme here you can display the file image name or not which is nice or apply a watermark if this is like a preview proof gallery and you don't want them to be able to download it and then for downloads which is cool you can enable free downloads and then you can choose which side you want them to download so if you want full resolution maybe only social media size and you can even custom length which is pretty amazing I think you can also restrict the downloads you know depending on um, what type of event you're doing you can restrict that you can even add specific folders so if you do weddings and you have lots of folders and you only want to maybe send the family certain folders and then the bride and groom the full folders. You can kind of restrict that way, which is pretty cool. Of course, access, you can require a password, set an expiration date, which is nice. So if you tell your clients it's only available for two months, you can set an expiration date and they'll do it for you so you don't have to go back and remember. And then the biggest thing I love is their store feature. Of course, if you've seen stores on any other online platforms and services, it kind of runs the same. You can choose which print lab that you want to work with. You can add discount codes, which is huge for incentivizing prints and products. I do love that. And then you can display a sales banner, which is so awesome. So you can say like 
discount code for 20% off until two weeks. And then you can have that banner highlighted huge. I'm going to go ahead and put something here so you can see what it will look like. You can even display kind of the little button you want them to do. I'd probably just do something like an alarm. And you can even set all these settings as a preset so you don't have to go in and do this for every gallery. It can kind of just save as a preset for that. So we're gonna go ahead and create gallery and then we can preview it and then share now. If you're gonna share now, this is where you do all your emails and etc. cetera. Um, but let me go ahead and go back to preview here. And so this is, you can see what this would look like for your client. So we're going to open this one and then up at the top you can see here is the banner for the sales or promotion whatever you want to promote and then your beautiful gallery here that they can click through and then if you have the shop enabled they can even go over here if you want them to buy prints and products again you can have a custom header here again you can create more branding feel which most other online services I haven't found have great branding options for photographer so it just again keeps everything cohesive and what I love is the shop experience that CloudSpot provides. I didn't do any of this. This was all auto generated so people can kind of see those styled mock-up. I think the shopping experience is very user friendly for your clients. So for example let's click on prints and they can just pick which they can go here through a slide bar a little film strip. I do always recommend you record your own kind of how-to video. It's just to help people. People like visual help. They have the sizes here whatever you decide to you know make up for your sizes and options they can click through and it kind of it already automatically just crops it for them so to see preview which I think is amazing. They can adjust the crop here if they want. Um, which is nice here. They can view in my space so they can take a picture of their space and view what size it would look like on the wall, which I think is amazing. And then of course, product details around here, which is auto generated as well. And then easily they can toggle for other products you have here on the left side, they can change to large format, whatever you have available. Grad cards, they have that available, which is pretty awesome. And you can choose all the different settings when you go in to create your store. There's lots of different options that you can customize to whatever you want to have experience for your clients. And then just quickly, if you click on an image, just want to show you what it looks like. They can favorite it, download it, you know, share this image if you choose to enable social sharing, buy the image, etc. So they have all the options here. I love the display is really clean. It's just really easy to follow. And you can also, it's also really good on the mobile version as well. And then I just wanted to show you the call to action, what that looks like. So once they scroll to the bottom of the gallery, here is that call to action that you put, whatever you decided to put, and they click on that and it'll take them right to wherever you directed the URL to go. Okay, so now that we've talked about the online service gallery side, let's talk about the CRM side. So you're gonna just go up to the top, you'll see your collections that you can edit, the store, so whatever options you're doing for printing is where you edit, and the studio is where your CRM is gonna be. So you're just gonna click studio here. This is where the fun begins for the CRM. The first thing I love about CloudSpot is this is a quick snapshot right when you start. Um, if you're new to all this, they have help and videos on what to do starting out here. If you're somewhat in the middle, meaning you probably tried out a CRM before, um, but you're not totally comfortable with everything that you need to do, you can click here. And then if you used other programs before and you're a pro, you can start right away. Um, personally, the first thing I always do is go to templates and start populating everything that I need there, like contracts, emails, invoices, all the things, questionnaires, you know, the client emails that you send, etc. So that's where I always like to start to just do that. And then of course you can go to your settings and then branding. So this is where you can do your signature, color, fonts, um, what you want buttons to look like, etc. Client portals, if you're familiar with that, this is usually the link you send to your client where it kind of hosts everything, all your communication, your invoices, contracts, etc. that you've had. So like if your client's wondering, you know, what's my invoices look like if they have like payments left, you can send the link, they can kind of see all your communication in one spot, which is really nice, really professional. And then payments, of course, you need to set up how you're going to receive payments. And then you'll notice that booking over here, this is their scheduler, it says beta. This is probably the newest feature that they um, are working on. So I have no doubt that it's gonna become a little better as it rolls out. I haven't personally done a lot with it because again, I'm currently using HoneyBook, but definitely look at that if you're just needing something to get people to schedule with you on an online way, I think it's great. And then if you simply wanna hop back over to your online galleries, you'll just come up to the top here and you can go to galleries and you'll go back to your home screen where you can 
you know, do the collections and all that stuff. So it's really easy to move throughout. I think it's very user friendly. I think it's really clean and easy to set up and maneuver. And lastly, I just want to touch on pricing because that's also a huge difference between the two platforms. So for CloudSpot, they got a monthly plan as low as 15 a month. And what's huge about that is they include not only your online gallery and all the photos and those capabilities, but the studio manager as well. So you do not have to pay additional to use the studio side as well as the gallery side as of the time of recording this video. Whereas HoneyBook, it's around the 30 to $40 range, but that's just CRM stuff. It doesn't include an online gallery. So I'm paying that plus the CloudSpot monthly feature. So if you want to save a lot of money and you don't need all the capabilities with HoneyBook, I think CloudSpot is such a good deal. And then of course you can go through and see all the features between each plan. And depending on how much storage space you're going to need, you can, depends on the plan there too. But I have a link down in the description box below to make sure you get this 20% discount if you want to try CloudSpot um, for yourself. So kind of overall takeaways, HoneyBook is still like the big brother version to CloudSpot right now. CloudSpot's still pretty new. They're rolling out things and I have no doubt that they're gonna get to have some more advanced features, but it depends on where you're at with your photography business. If you're a little bit more of an established photographer and you really need a robust scheduler, maybe you have multiple different sessions you like to offer. Maybe you really like beautifully designed the templates and stuff that's already pre-written out. HoneyBook is still the way to go. Plus, this is very nuanced to me and some other different educators, but if you're a photographer that offers education or maybe you have a second company like I do where I have photographers outsource their work to me, HoneyBook does allow me to create a second company or a second brand under my umbrella of work. So I can easily switch out the brands depending on which company I'm working in and it has like its own invoices, own email set up for each different company. That's a little bit more advanced for most photographers, but if you are in that place, then HoneyBook is still the way to go for that. It just is a little bit more built and ready to offer those kind of services. However, I find that most photographers do not need that, especially when you're first starting out in your photography business or maybe you're in year one through three and you just need some cohesive place where you can do all your work in one place without the hefty price tag. Honestly, if CloudSpot was around when I first started my photography business, I definitely would have used CloudSpot. Um, but that just wasn't available for me when I first started and you need some help on the back end of my business. So I highly recommend CloudSpot for like your go-to CRM and online gallery. So whether you want to try out CloudSpot or HoneyBook, I actually do have a link that'll save you money on either one. And both are down in the description box below. If you have any comments or questions about either CRM platform, please let me know in the comments below. I will do my best to answer them or guide you to an article or some help on better to answer whatever question you do have. I hope you found this video helpful and then until the next one guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.